This is, of course, Buckets of Rain, Bob Dylan, from his 1975 album, Blood on the Tracks. It's done in open D tuning. We're going to take a look at, it's also, like a lot of songs in open D, it can be done lots of different ways, and I've, I've tabbed out most of what I just played right there. Some of it I'm just going to explain, and uh, let you leave, you leave you on your own with it, but we're going to walk through it and um, learn some of these cool licks. <laughs> And, and a lot of notes happen in the background. They kind of are these ghost notes. So uh, they're pull-offs that happen from notes that really are barely ringing and some things like that. So there's a lot of neat, neat little subtle things happening in this. Now, this, um, this album, really cool. Shelter from the Storm, Idiot Wind, Lily Rosemary, and the Jack of Hearts. I mean, just a, a bunch of great songs. And I kind of figured, thought of this as a... He hadn't been doing much in the early 70s. Um, Nashville Skyline and stuff like that was like 1970 and uh, New Morning, I believe. And then he sort of went into hibernation for a little while. Came out, uh, did Pat Garrett in 1973, and that of course gave us Knocking on Heaven's Door. And then there was an album done with the band in 1974, Planet Waves, uh, where they had stuff like Forever Young on it. So it was sort of starting to come out of his, uh, uh, his hibernation, I guess. But this album was like just a blockbuster. It's like all of a sudden, here it is, another... Dylan album that had nothing but incredible tunes on it. Uh, this and the one following it, Desire. So, so in, this, in the mid-70s he had what might even be considered his second or third or fourth comeback already, and who knows how many we'd say there are, have been then since then. But anyhow, f phenomenal artist and uh, songwriter. I don't need to talk about Bob Dylan anymore, I don't think. Uh, but what we are going to do in this lesson is get into an open D tuning, capo it to the second fret to put us in open E, only for a little higher pitch sound, but we are going to be doing this at the second fret in uh, in E. Now to get into the drop or the open D tuning, we have to change four strings, and that the sixth and the first strings both go down to D, down a whole step. The second string goes down a whole step to A, and the third string goes down a half step to F sharp. So in D, we would have D A D F sharp A D. When we capo that up to the second fret, we have the equivalent in E. Now, an important thing, one of the things that kind of distinguishes the two main open tunings, the two most common, which I would consider the D tuning and the G tuning, is the arrangements of the three notes that make up the chord, one, three, and five. And in a D tuning, we have the lowest string tuned to the root of chord one, and then the, the fifth string tuned to the root of chord five. As opposed to in a G, and then the third, we only have one third in there, and that's on the third string. Otherwise, we just have roots and fifths. Now, in a G tuning, we have it laid out a little differently. The only third in the G tuning is on the second string, and then we have the root of chord one on the fifth string, the G, and the root of chord five on the sixth string, which would be a D. So, um, they're similar in, in a lot of respects, and the fingerings that happen in one from one um, tuning to the next are nearly identical just on a different set of strings. So don't be afraid of open tunings. This is a, and, and frequently songs that are in open tunings are fairly easy to play as far as not very complicated chord positions. You probably saw what I just played right there and it didn't look too tricky. The trickier thing in this is the picking and getting through it as quickly as you need to and having it sound kind of slow and, and um, gentle. Not necessarily slow, but it, it's very, very smooth. It doesn't sound like it's rushed and, uh, or, or, anyway. Okay. That's it for a little uh, preview here on, on uh, Dylan's tune, Buckets of Rain. A lot of great covers of them out there. Nobody really plays it exactly the way Bob did, and so I really encourage you to listen to the original and, and kind of play along. We'll break it down and play it all very slowly and, and look at some of the very specific little licks. But this is a song that could, be, could go lots of different ways. You don't have to play it exactly, but you do want to get the chord changes in there. You can play it with bars. And the last thing I played, this, really incorporated what was going on in the bass, and Bob didn't really play that on the guitar, so that part is kind of a hybrid part to incorporate the descending bass line along with the descending melody notes that are happening in the chords. So we'll talk about that later too. Okay, enough of that. Get out the tab, let's start looking at it.